Hey friends, welcome back. Thank you so much for being here today. If you are new here, hello, my name is Kate. I'm a foster mom. And here on this channel, we talk about foster care and adoption, intentional living, creating an impact, all things mom life, and we do family vlogs as well. So if any of that interests you, I'd love to have you subscribe. So today what we're gonna be talking about is trauma and parenting children with trauma. And I wanted to talk about this little um, paper here that I got at one of my support groups. And this is called how trauma can affect your window of tolerance. Your window of tolerance is this is where things feel just right, where you're best able to cope with the punches life throws at you. You're calm, but not tired. You're alert, but not anxious. So this is, you know, the average person who hasn't experienced trauma. This is our window of tolerance. You know, when are things okay? When are things stable? When are things just, you know, a-okay? And it can go up in dysregulation or it can go down in dysregulation. So when you go up in dysregulation, you're talking about when you begin to feel agitated, you may feel anxious, revved up, angry. You don't feel out of control, but you also don't feel comfortable. And then there's the next stage up here is hyper arousal. This is when you feel extremely anxious, angry, or even out of control. Unfamiliar or threatening feelings can overwhelm you and you might want to fight or run away. Now, and this window of tolerance going down in dysregulation, this is when you begin to feel like you're shutting down. You may feel a little spacey, lose track of time, start to feel sluggish. You don't feel out of control, but you also don't feel comfortable. And hypoarousal is this is when you feel extremely zoned out and numb, both emotionally and physically. Time can go missing. It might feel like you're completely frozen. It's not something you choose. Your body takes over. Stress and trauma can shrink your window of tolerance. This means that it may be harder to stay calm and focused. When you're outside your window of tolerance, you may be more easily thrown off balance. And your work with your practitioner can help to enlarge your window of tolerance. They can help you stay calm, focused, and alert, or even when something happens that would usually throw you off balance. So why I wanted to talk to you guys about this was when we're dealing with foster children and you see behaviors kind of go extreme. We had this a lot with one of our foster children where, you know, things would be here and it was like they were like kind of crazy, like just like out of control, running and jumping, super active, and like then the next second they would be like crashing and like zoning out into space and just like completely not with it. We saw this kind of extreme mood shift with the hyper arousal and the hypo arousal. As a foster parent, it's really important that A, you can recognize this when things are out of their window of tolerance. And this may be anything like going for a visit is setting them off. Something triggers them, you know, a loud sound triggers them. A play, taking them to a certain place triggers them, saying a certain phrase triggers them, and just trying to remove those triggers as much as possible so you can keep them in that window of tolerance. Because it's very hard to parent a child when they're in the hyper arousal stage, and it's very hard to parent a child when they're in the hypo arousal stage. When they're in the hyper arousal stage, it's very hard to get them to calm down. They may be completely out of control, not listening to a word you say, something that happens in their brain, and they're just like, not with it at all. This may include like raging fits, throwing themselves down on the floor, extreme crying that you can't get them to stop, over something to you that seems really, really small. But I just want to remind you, as a foster parent, you haven't experienced the trauma that these children have experienced. And not only the trauma, but just their emotional instability and immaturity because they're little. But when you put those two things together, their window of tolerance is just, you know, it's here or here. It's very hard for them to stay in the middle and stay in that calm and normal kind of state. When they're in hypo arousal, I've seen this with a couple of our foster children, you know, it's just like eyes glazed over, they're not hearing what you say, they're just out of it and they're just like shutting down, their brain is just shutting down. And this really goes back to that like fight or flight or freeze response that our body has. And you know, just as a foster parent, I want to encourage you to just try and make things as even killed as possible. And when you see triggers and you see them go into a hyper arousal state or a hypo arousal state, that write them down so you know to try and avoid them as much as possible. And if you are seeking outside treatment, if your child is seeing a therapist or you're seeing a therapist, you know, maybe you've adopted a child that has these hyper and hypo arousal states. Um, you're seeing a therapist as a family to bring up these triggers and be able to talk about it because very often therapists can work with these kids and get them to be a little bit more even keeled and give them coping mechanisms to do when they're feeling either hyper aroused or hypo aroused 
and just giving you as a parent different techniques. So if you're seeing this type of behavior and you haven't already seek treatment, uh, I would definitely encourage you to because somebody who deals with this and is professionally trained to deal with these types of behaviors is really going to be able to give you some help and just give you some coping mechanisms as a family coping mechanisms for that child in specific and just overall you'll be able to get a little bit more balance in the home and things won't be so like out of control. Anyways, I hope that was helpful for you guys. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new here. I'd love to have you, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.